Well, we're going to talk about the three-year-olds, what they're up to, what they're doing, when they'll be ready to go. I think most of you guys know, there's a lot of horse on this list, that the, the time, it, like Adrenaline Rush is their first horse, first April, you guys know that. Uh, but a number of horses are ready to go. I thought they would have been entered for next week. A um, few of Mario's, a couple of Kevin's. Now, Kevin had asked that some of the horses be taken to the vet uh, just to be checked over to make sure they're okay, ready to go. Italian Grit had a uh, splint. So we'll get right into it. Uh, Adrenaline Rush, as I said, first part of April, he'll be ready to go. Won't be a problem there. Barbie's Crown will be racing next week. Uh, where? I'm not sure. London, Flamborough. That will be up to Mario. Better's Hope, again, uh, first part of April, I believe, for him. Uh, by all accounts, and I said to somebody the other day, you know, I'm curious. What's this horse going to look like? How's he training back? By all accounts, he's been training back very, very good. This is a horse that we gave lots of time. Uh, I'm very interested, very interested to see how this horse is. This horse that was well-bred, you know, it had uh, we had fairly high expectations for him, paid a lot of money for him, and... Did not turn out well at two. Wasn't the soundest. Looked like he always had little issues bothering him. And that kind of, um, you know, mitigated him not racing well. And not putting out well. He just never wowed us from day one. Now, I've been told, since he's training back, he looks very, very good. So, very interesting. I'm very interested to see how this is going to turn out. Uh, Blue Monk will be racing next week also. I see Kevin doesn't have him to qualify. I don't know whether he's just going to put him into race or what he was. He didn't ask to take him to the vet. So uh, we'll see how Blue Monk goes next week. I suspect he'll be racing. Uh, Braymar won't be racing till mid to end March. He's been around 210-ish, but we're going to have to train him a few more times at the farm, take him to the track, a couple of stiff training trips there, and then uh, qualify him. I suspect he'll be ready to go mid-March. Uh, Brilliant Corners is training down well again. Looking at uh, first part of April for this guy, end of March, first part of April for all these sophomores coming back that had a uh, rookie season that we turned out that we brought back uh, mid to the end of December, 1st of January. They'll be ready to go around April. Broadway Rolls, as I said, ready to go right now. Uh, Kevin just wants to get her up to the vet, get her looked at real quick, um, see how she's coming. but. She's ready to go right now. Can't Muscle Me is ready to go. Now, Harry's horses, Harry was truthful. He went over and trained them in, in the mud in 2-8 and said, geez, they just don't feel like they're ready to go. They're going to need a couple more training trips. Um, so Can't Muscle Me was supposed to train hard today at the farm. Then she'll go to Mohawk. I guess on Tuesday would be a good time to take her to Mohawk. We'll see how she goes. I know I won't miss the, the set list this week for sure. Uh, Captain's Made pretty much ready to go again 2-7 probably a couple of stiff training trips should be ready to qualify cut the line is ready to race right now I think Mario said he, he trained her in 2-7 two, two on that windy cold day over at Mohawk uh, he may want to qualify her he may want to put her right in to go but she's there she's ready to go right now first glance we're looking at mid to end March for him also some of these horses have little different timelines brilliant corners and the rest of probably eight, first part of April First glance might be the week before. It might be the same week. We'll see. Um, Frilly. Oh no, don't jump over Fox Valley Britska. Fox Valley Britska has been uh, has been racing well. I was very happy with him uh, when I drove him on Wednesday, finishing second. I thought he was very, very good. Girls with Swirls was good also. Really happy with uh, Swirls. She went a mile in. Uh, to seven in the mud the other day, a long way from where we, 10 seconds from where she's going to need to be to be an effective uh, overnighter grass rewards, but she's close. She's close. Um, where are we at? Fairly Fringes, Girls with Swirls. Gray as a new red will be heading to Ohio March 1st. She's been training well. Again, I don't want to get too, uh, you know, I don't want to get too optimistic about any of them because they have a lot of work to do. Some of them have done a lot more work than others. Gray as the New Red was okay as a two-year-old, had some okay moments, but uh, we really turned her out for her sophomore to prep her for her sophomore season. She's here now. She's getting ready. She'll be ready to go in another couple of weeks, and then uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see how she wintered. Um, 
GW Chrome. I just got off the phone with Jason a minute ago, and Jason said that GW Chrome had trained very, very well today. Very happy to hear that. Don't think we're going to need the hobbles on GW Chrome this year. Now, he hasn't got any fast miles yet. We're, we're still a little ways from being able to do that, but he trained very, very good today, I'm told, at the firm. Holy chick. Uh, Harry, Mar Mario has asked for one, one more strong training trip for her on Tuesday. Actually, now that I say it out loud, why doesn't he just put her in the qualified Thursday if he's really worried about it? Huh. I'll talk to him, but we'll see. It'll be, I guess Tuesday, maybe he's planning on racing her next weekend. Maybe that's why. Um, a Glare AM will be ready in about three weeks. She's been training down really, really well, looking really good. Very happy. I have personally haven't gone with her. I watched James go with her, Johnny go with her, I watched Jimmy train her one day. All three people said she was very good. Very impressed with Eglaria and how she has wintered. I'm a lovely lady. Good. She's another one Another one of the Phillies. We're just going to take to the vet to get her checked out before we really drop the hammer on her. Um, she's been training pretty good. Running in a little bit at the farm, which she did last year also. So uh, Jason wants to have her up to the vet to get her checked. No big deal there. Italian Grid is going to the vet on Tuesday morning. Popped a splint right front. So I guess we got to the bottom of why that rare break occurred the other day at Mohawk in the qualifiers. Jazzy Judy will start back probably in another week and then uh, she'll swim for a month and then join, rejoin Jason in uh, Northfield. We had a number of people ask, why don't we just let Jimmy train her back? We'll be training our horses back. We always do. And, um, you know, when it comes to what? It's weird. The thing just popped up. Airbag. What about the airbag? That's weird. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, bring, what's this guy doing? We'll bring Jazzy Judy back to, uh, back to Northfield Park. Now, I was planning on being over there to go with Jazzy Judy quite a bit, but with this whole border fiasco this week, I don't know if that's going to happen. I, I know it won't happen now, so, uh, we'll see after a month of training with Jim, that'll be April We'll see uh, how things are progressing in Ohio, and the corks will be off at that point in Ontario. So as I say, she might go to Northfield. She might come back with me to uh, Tomiko also. I haven't made my mind up completely. I guess I thought I had my mind up, uh, my mind made up, but I guess that's going to change a little bit. Now, Keystone Raven, Mario's going to train her fast on Tuesday. She'll qualify the week after. So nine days after Tuesday, she'll qualify at Mohawk. Uh, Miss Morang is going to start swimming tomorrow. Well, uh, probably not Sunday. She'll start swimming on Monday morning. Three weeks of swimming for her and Rose Run. Why not? And then they're right back into the thick of things. Mama knows best is training good. She'll be, be ready to qualify in a couple of weeks. Three weeks probably for Mama knows best. My jazz, same thing, three weeks. No free lunch. We'll probably be ready to go April 1st uh, or towards the end of March. We'll see how he is. Northern Blizzard is training great. He looks real, real good on the track now. Uh, he's only trained maybe four or five times, though, so we're probably looking at April 1st for him also. Perfect record trained today in 2.8 in the slop at Mohawk. Again, I was talking to Jason. He said the track was terrible, but he trained a mile in 2.8. Um, I asked him to get the vet to scope him. It was just the mud and him training by himself. It's very, very possible. So I asked him to get the, to get the, uh, the vet to scope him. And uh, just make sure everything's all right. We'll probably put him in to qualify on Thursday. Uh, Rose Run, why not? As I said, Miss Morang and Rose Run, why not? Will begin their aqua therapy. They'll begin their swimming on Monday. They will swim for three weeks and then rejoin Jason McGinnis in Ohio. Uh, Saris Blue Chip looked great on the track. I saw him train the other day. Looks sound, looks comfortable. Very, very happy with what I've seen from Cyrus Blue Chip. Uh, Kevin has done a great job getting him back going. He's only been in for, what, a month and a bit. He likely won't be ready till April either. So Admiral was ready. Kevin said he trained her in 2-1. I suspect she'll be qualifying. I suspect she'll be qualifying on Thursday. And then she'll begin racing shortly after that. Stacy Hanover, probably ready to go into March. In March, end of March. We'll see how she's coming. She looks good on the track. Head her up to the vet completely clean bill of health if they were going to be really picky the only issue was her feet were a little pinchy i think harry opted to switch her back to flip-flops so i'm eager to see how she's going to train over the next few weeks uh sweet ambitions continues to train good she's going to be ready to qualify in about a week i believe 
Perry needed one good fast mile into her at Mohawk. He'll get that this week. Uh, Tanzanite Tricks, our debut in Ontario 2021 was Tanzanite Tricks, and she was a winner. I told James when I trained her in 2.5 at the firm, you know, it's very hard to train some of those horses fast at the firm, but I, I trained Tanzanite Tricks. I thought she trained really well, and um, hadn't raced since November. That's a, that's a, ready, that's a well she trained. We put her right in to go. I know quietly maybe the expectations were low. She went out and jogged. 32. Now, track was bad. It was winter. It was snowy. Uh, short field. Everybody's horses were a little bit short. You know, 32, 105, 134, and 3 a mile, and 2, 4, and 2. James did a, a, a great job mathematically with her, but uh, a great job overall, and I was very, very happy to see her win. That's my girl. Be ready to go. Probably, probably first part of... Uh, Probably first part of April. Tipsy and Dixie, same thing, first part of April. Even Walk on the Moon should be ready April. War We was up, hopefully April. Those horses are all gunning for the exact same start time, April 1st, 2021. And then War We Welcome is ready to go right now. I believe she'll qualify next week. She may need a couple of qualifiers, but she'll definitely get one on Thursday. And Well and Down will be heading to Ohio with Jason. She's been training good again mid-March for her and won my hard Hanover will start her stake series. Her stake series will start on March the 4th in the Meadows. Now, I was super excited to go over and race Frilly Fringes and her and, you know, just really, really excited. And now what went on with the border, it's going to be difficult for me to get across. So, um, not the end of the world. I mean, I can get across, no problem. But it appears that with the new rule changes in Canada, they have quietly changed the rules of what the definition of a cross-border worker is and the loophole that I had to get across has since been closed. So uh, I'm optimistic, I'm hopeful when I get to the border today I get a wonderful person that has had a great day and uh, I continue on with my exemption but from what I was told by the rather rude gentleman the other night at um, Queenston Lewiston that will not happen. So regardless of what it is, big scheme of things is not the end of the world. It obviously impacts me, but there's been many, many people impacted in much worse ways than I am right now. So we'll get through it. I'll get through it. Uh, the summer is coming. And although COVID is continuing to make it difficult, it can't hide forever. So I will uh, we'll talk to all you guys soon. Hope you're all having a great day. It is snowy as a bugger here in Buffalo, New York. Take care.